Hello, my name is Bishop John Wester. I am Bishop of Salt Lake City and Chairman of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops Committee on Migration. Today, immigration is the subject of heated debate in our country. The current immigration system leaves millions of people living in fear and without rights, while also draining resources from the goals of law enforcement to arrest dangerous criminals. The U.S. bishops see comprehensive immigration reform as the only lasting solution. Catholic teaching recognizes that countries have a right to secure their borders and regulate immigration for the protection of their citizens. It also recognizes the right of people to emigrate in order to support themselves and their families. These two rights are not absolute and must be balanced to ensure that human rights are protected while the rule of law is maintained. The U.S. bishops believe that meaningful immigration reform must properly balance the right to migrate and the right to regulate migration. We therefore oppose enforcement only immigration policies which ignore people's right to migrate and instead favor policies that pair valid and humane enforcement of the law with fair and generous legalization measures. Since 2000, our nation has spent well over $100 billion on immigration enforcement. During the same period, the number of undocumented has nearly doubled. They come to work and we as American citizens have benefited from their hard work in many important industries. We must make changes to the current system that provides these workers legal status and legal avenues to work in the United States so that their human dignity is upheld and they are fully able to contribute to the economic and social growth of our nation. For instance, an earned citizenship program, which permits undocumented persons to earn their citizenship over time, would help promote family unity and bring a large population out of the shadows. A worker visa program, which creates legal avenues for migrant workers to migrate to the U.S., would help reduce illegal immigration and the loss of life in the American desert. Changes in family-based immigration should be made in order to reduce waiting time for family reunification. By replacing illegal immigration with legal migration, law enforcement will be better able to focus upon those who truly threaten public safety, drug and human traffickers, smugglers, and would-be terrorists. Congress also should address the root causes of migration and promote sustainable economic development in sending countries. Ideally, migration should be driven by choice, not by necessity. Immigrants are not criminals. They are our sisters and brothers in Christ. They come to work and support their families, not to harm us. We must remember that they are human beings who share our same values and aspirations and who want to be part of the American fabric playing by the same rules. As Catholics and Christians, we have an obligation to welcome the stranger in our midst. God has been generous to our country. Let us extend that generosity to our neighbor. It would not only benefit us as individuals, but also as a nation, as it has done for well over 200 years. Thank you.